Microsoft Word 2010 Page Setup 1. Let's have a look at how to change the setup of our page. Most of these settings will be found on the Page Layout tab on your ribbon. Firstly, you can change the margins. There are some preset margins like Normal, Narrow and Moderate but you can also insert custom margins by selecting the Custom Margins option. This will open the Page Setup dialog box. In the top part, you are able to change the margins using the spinners available to you. I am going to change my top margin to 2 and my bottom margin to 2 as well. Remember to select the OK command button. To change the orientation of the document, select your Page Layout tab again and then select Orientation. At the moment it is set to Portrait. I am going to change it to Landscape. You can also change the size of the paper that you would like to print on. To do this, select the drop down menu next to Size and then select the correct size for your page. To insert a page border, select the Page Borders option from your Page Background group. Make sure that the Page Border tab has been selected. On the left hand side of your screen, select the style of the page border. I am going to select the box border. In the middle section, you can change the style of the line going around your page. And you can also set the color. I'm going to make mine red. You can also change the width of the actual border and if you wanted to you could add some art as a border instead of just the lines. Remember to select your OK command button. To insert a page color, select the drop down menu from your page color button. I'm going to add a light blue as my page color. It's important to note at this point that page colors don't always print out. You'll need to make sure that your printer settings are correct and before you print the page. And that concludes our lesson on Microsoft Word 2010 Page Setup 1.